Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel Natalia with you love craft forever and look where we are it's a heaven of beads bead park I love this website because in here you can buy so many different beads in bulk in 10 grams and 20 grams even 50 grams and up and up it has good sales and clearance and it's just uh, not just the beads if you missed my unboxing video i will link it up for you so you can see what kind of gorgeous gorgeous product i received lately from bead park and i did some tutorials one of the tutorials i created um, for my nails and my beauty channel natalia xo because I purchased in here also they has a beauty product um, makeup nail stuff and I was doing the nail transfers it's gorgeous so now you see on your screen and sorry for my camera being shaky because I'm holding in my hands we have in here paradise of seed beads and why I showing you this kind because we are going to do something today you can see there's many many colors and if you hover in here on the top you have in here jewelry beads so whatever you hover over it will open up for your brand new page in here so we go and go and go into the beads yes and in here you would have a mm, seed and bugle beads and that's where you can find um, you can order them by the size by the color by the shape so in this particular video that we will do tutorial with you that's the seed beads that I order and I want to show you how gorgeous this is okay um, this trans transparent I just gonna hover that way you can see better maybe even I can a little bit um, zoom to you close look look how beautiful right so this is the seed beads that we will work together with you and the price in here for this uh, to like USA $30 but how much in here uh, this is 10 gram if you click in here on a price they should change um, then you can choose in here how many packages do you want and there's a different kind see like a one bottle per package 50 gram per package or one pound even so I think that was a $30 it's for one pound one pound of bead um, so let me show you what I will do with it because it's right in here on a table let's see if we're gonna have a good um, light in here okay it is so recently we saw with you my unboxing video of this cross stitch and to if you are a cross stitcher then you will think you know a little bit outside of the box and stitch with the seed beads and I already started to test it out because I wanted to see if this particular beads will be perfect for my stitching on a canvas of 14 count Ada and they are layering beautiful look at this so let me put my tripod on my table and I can show you a little bit more what we are going to do so let me show you first uh, the beads that I will work with the one that we just saw on my computer screen and I did uh, put them into the container so it's kind of easy for me and I'm using my diamond painting tray for this moment and let's just put a little bit more in here if you don't like the tray you can use sticky pad as like this one transparent one it's a sticky on both sides and let me show you a little bit it's actually comfortable for the beads especially seed beads because they are so tiny you can unstick them from the both sides you see how it's a silicone very very sticky you just 
put somewhere where it's more close to you and when you put your beads on it let me just I'm not going to use this at this moment but I want to show you that when you put your beads on it your beads not going to be spilled it will stay on this mat perfectly fine so it would be easy for you to pick up those beads with the needle without spilling them accidentally all over and this sticky pad is really really good okay i might just as well use from here because now it's stick hard on it what else you can use you can use this kind of soft material for the beaders and this one i purchased from michael's uh, I do have in here bead needles, but the beauty about this particular seed beads, and here they are on a tray, is absolutely gorgeous. You can see and hear them very, very close. I love seed beads from Bead Park. I'm telling you, it's like a heaven. When I go to the store, it's hard to resist. Now, I did, I was thinking which color I should pick because this design. Uh, it's a red and black color only so all the green color that you see in here It's a black color and all the pink. It's a red color so I was thinking first which one because this is a Miyuki beads and also this one Miyuki beads and I at first I Wanted to stitch with this beads. They are absolutely stunning and they are shifting the color very very beautiful but then i was thinking you know this is a ukrainian design usually it's a pure red and pure black color supposed to be so i choose this one i could choose probably matte beads but i like the glance and uh, shine of this bead so i will be using this bead this is 11 um, yeah, 11 size beads or 11 O, the way um, we like to call them. And the beauty about this, they have a big round hole. If you can look on the inside of the bead, they are absolutely perfect for the needle. Let me get, I have a needle, I mean, bead already on it. And this is the needle from 14 count kit of Aida when came in a kit so this is not a beading needle this is cross stitch needle and because this beads has a bigger hole they fit perfectly if I can show you like see from the other side where I have already thread on my needle see they go perfectly fine all the way through the wider spite uh, side of your needles and the threads that is folded on half so it is amazing actually threads in here folded so it's like a four threads already in here and they are I try like a stab uh, many many beads and they all go perfectly fine so they are perfect perfect for bead stitching and if you think you don't know how to stitch, you are mistaken because beading stitching is so easy. If you know how to stitch cross stitch, which is a first year stitch, it's a half stitch. And that's what we need for the beading stitching, half stitch only. So you already know how to stitch, you just never try it. And for those who try, you know you love it. It is very, very addictive. And I will show you how to stitch, how to stitch properly. Let me try to zoom close to me and I will try to right now use this piece that it's stuck to my tray. And there's a beauty thing about you just cover them and leave it if you have to leave somewhere, just leave it on it. Also, what you can use to put your beads like right in here so it's comfortable for you to pick it up. It's a double-sided adhesive tape, like the packing uh, clear, uh, clear uh, adhesive uh, tape. You just put, uh, stick it to your uh, canvas. It's not gonna damage, don't worry. And then just pour colors of the beads wherever you work on it. Uh, at this point, I don't have it on me right now, but I did stitch like this before. Double adhesive tape. Stick it to your canvas and pour beads on it and you will be set 
to work comfortable so I will put my beads in here on this sticky pad right now and let me zoom close to the part that we will work on I'm kind of already um, kind of started in here now my one more point what I want to show you and let me readjust a little bit in here so I can show you very very close now this is a little design that flowers kind of apart from each other in here so you have to stitch if you using a thread that's colorful make sure it doesn't go through the white fabric make sure the connection between two elements go through the part that will be stitched for example in here I have a green color which is going to be a black so my thread from here to here was going through this point so it's not going to be visible um, if you look in like further away and sometimes when it's a colorful thread you can see it through the white canvas because this part will not going to stitch uh, so you can also use seed beads and stitch with the fishing line or specific bead and thread that is like invisible uh, but I find that if you use a thread from like DMC thread it gives you more support for your bead it will be like a more thickness filling into the holes because obviously holes a little bit bigger than some seed beads have that you only can use a uh, beaded needle and that's it but that's what I like about I can use my threads and I still can go through these beads because of the bigger size holes on the inside of the seed bead so now um, to help me to work on this canvas I will use my magnifier glass with the light so I can see better and let me finish this little piece in here off the camera so we can start with you maybe on this bigger piece like for example let me move camera a little bit like on one of these flowers so we have a more area to work on okay and i will work kind of in here so i can show you how proper way to stitch so your beads layer perfect okay give me a second okay let's start our tutorial i have in here i will start from the front, let's just say I don't want to flip my uh, canvas on the other side. So I will start my thread from the front like I show you in one of my cross stitch tutorials. So I hope this will work for my beads as well. If you don't want to um, uh, start this way, you can literally just grab your thread and wrap around your finger and create a knot like this if you can see okay and then just start from underneath the canvas but I don't like to start with the knot so I'm not going to do that I will start this way I wave my needle through the two pieces of this wave on a canvas let me just get my needle okay I am trying to do this the lamp Let, let's see something just a minute dark in here dark up there okay let's turn it off the light because i don't want you to see shadow so all right so what i will do i will start this way now you need to remember that this is will be cover everything with the beads now I will go under and then I will start probably from this and the bottom part when my design starting in here okay so now I'm gonna pull out my thread on the front and while we wave in like this the thread kind of here securing a little bit but also what we will do 
Now don't forget to grab your bead right now and we will stitch our first stitch. Now you have to decide which way you like to stitch. If this is a half stitch, if you would do cross stitch, right? You want your bead layer this way or that way. So I always do from left to right. So it's my left bottom corner to the right top corner. And now I will create the other one next to it. So I will, uh, but before I do that, usually I like to do twice. My very first bead, when I secure, I do twice for stability of the first bead and also to secure my thread. So I will go again from the same bead and try to go in the same hole to pull from under. And now we have a very, if I want to pull, this thread will not come out, okay? It's already secure very, very well. So at this point, we are going to continue stitch as you would do a half stitch, which is every time our thread have to point out to the one direction only. So if we start from left bottom corner, you can continue this way or also you can start from the right top corner and go to your left bottom just if it's layering in the same position so let me go a little bit more further we will go uh, we will go this way zigzagging to cover this thread that we have in here and I have my beads on my uh, beading mat this one fluffy one so it's kind of like easy for me to pick beads from here because they are not very um, like running around in here because it's kind of soft cushiony material that your beads stay nice and secure all right so did I pick a bead yet yes I did pick the bead and we go into the same right top corner now when we're going to change lines from now we're going like from left to right and then when we're going backwards we are going to go from right to the left so the stitching could be start a little bit different so let's see what we will have let's just continue this is so much fun you will love it and that's why when I was looking in on a bead park website the first thing where I was looking, I know that I want to create cross stitch that will be in beads. So I was looking for the right, uh, right design, um, not design, but the size of the beads. Usually, if you order uh, beaded stitching, the seed beads could be uh, size number 10. But on the website of the bead park they don't have a 10 size i think they only start um, 11 close size so as you can tell the 11 si oh okay hold on now i want to show you because that's what i just make mistakes so now i start uh, my last bead in this row so i go to my usual top corner and I stitch so now I told you that I'm starting to stitch always from my left bottom to the right corner but if I start from here I will just unstitch my last bit because I just went under in this corner so to start my new row I go to my top right corner and will close bead on a bottom left corner so it's kind of going opposite but it's always go from one side to another and basically the second bead you already can start from your bottom and top or from the top to the bottom in here really doesn't matter now so let's go again now from the bottom and to the right top now we are closing our thread that we wave when we started and I have to say that this is 
11 size beads but it looks perfect to me for 14 count Ada so now I have to go into my beaded stash and see how how much I have beads in black color uh, because I do have um, order before I believe in black um, from um, a bead park um, maybe like a year ago or two, re two years ago I ordered some uh, black beads I just have to check what kind of size I have and how much I have and what kind I have so I can go and order more so they are all same size because if the size not the same you will see how beads will be kind of pushing each other a little bit so it's very very important to have a same size of the beads and Miyuki beads pretty much consistent in size and you can see this they they layer in actually really nice and because we're doing them on the same direction then layer they layer like a puzzle nicely together uh, I will show you a little bit later from the different angle my camera uh, when I get you off my tripod but I just wanted to it's kind of comfortable for me to do tutorial right now because I don't have a stand for this frame I just did my unboxing video yesterday I believe uh, of this frame if you will watch this video yesterday so I need to um, figure out how I will work but right now I put this frame on a side kind of like off hanging from my desk computer desk and it's work, work perfect for me I can work see like when my left hand is under the canvas so I can feel my needle where I have to go and then right is a working hand all you have to remember pick up your seat bead all the time before you go down so you don't miss the bead and that's the all you need to do I, and I have some other video tutorials with the seat beads when I created a few more designs uh, you can check them out I will try to link it up for you so if you like this kind of craft I have to say that you know try it once and you will see how much fun that is okay so now maybe for the better view for you let me try to put camera a little bit from different position so you can see better how beads layer in from uh, much more close view all right so see you in a second well let's try it this is very close to the beads now so maybe you can see better but only thing it could be a little bit more shadow of my hand because you are very very close to the camera so um, I can't really lift my canvas now because I don't want to lose my beads but uh, yeah this is really close this is really really close and I don't know if this is better because it's not exactly mm. let's see how about with the light <laughs> let's try again no it's not better we will raise my camera a little bit more up and then and then we're going to zoom let's see we will figure out I think this position could be better let's just try it and see I don't know so here it is bottom corner and my top right corner okay and then we're going to exit or enter where is my I'm trying to look without magnifier right now pick up the bead and put into the right top corner 
Okay, this bead actually, that's the first one that doesn't go through my needle. Okay, so we will put that aside and use for something else later with the bead and needle. But so far, these beads are good. Okay, so now, because we have like a st uh, straight row in here, it's okay to start again from our bottom left corner. Okay, I do need a magnifier, sorry. To see from underneath, where is my... Where is my... Threads. Okay, right in here. Pick up the bead and top right corner. A little bit more readjust higher because we are going up. Just a minute, like this. I want you to see as much as possible. Okay, if your bead not layer straight, you just push a little bit with your needle. And now we are going to continue with this row horizontally. So we go to the left corner by the bead we just stitched. Pick up the bead and put to the right top corner. And that's how easy, my lovely crafty people, to stitch with seed beads. Okay. It's fun. It's less speed, like it's a little bit more slow. Okay, so now in here is the moment that I want to show you. We just went in here from the top, uh, bottom left corner to the top right corner. But now our next row, what we have to do, we need to do like, you know, from the same hole. So we cannot put needle in the same hole that we just exit. We have to start from the top. So we're going to go from the top right in here. Pick up the bead and go to your left bottom corner. So in some position, you just do opposite way. Instead of from the bottom, you start from the top. And you can continue the whole row, you know, it doesn't matter now. You can continue from the top right corner and exit into the left bottom corner because your bead still gonna be layering all go in this position. Or you just switch and start from the bottom. Doesn't matter. You just have to remember that you always have to make sure your beads layer in the same, same direction. Okay. What do you think? You think you can try beaded stitching? If you never try yet, I know many of you already love this uh, craft. And some of you stitching in big, big canvases that is absolutely gorgeous. And I think I did a good choice by stitching this particular design with the beads. In Ukraine, we design clothes with the beads. This kind of like it's a Ukrainian national designs, like a culture, folk culture. And... In many regions of Ukraine, it's very, very popular. Lots of beading, like big designs and uh, uh, beautiful blouse or dresses for the men. Um, shirt to go, you know, with your fancy jacket, whatever. So this is very, very popular craft in my home country. Oh, I think I picked the same bead. That I just put aside. I have to kind of have like an extra dish for those that doesn't fit. So time from time it is a little bit whole could be different but you get in the bag thousands of those beads. So if something doesn't fit on this needle because this is not a beaded needle you have to remember that. So you just use for something different later.
I will link it up for you, uh, this beads, uh, seed beads on a bead park website so you can order if you like to design something uh, and just check it out up there there's not only beads up there it has a silicone molds a beauty product uh, different kind of jewelry making tools and accessories and like pre-made stuff huge huge website and so many different beautiful things that you can buy in bulk uh, the only uh, shipping I think of them a little bit um, kind of increases every time you order something and put in your basket um, that thing um, check it out if this is something you would like to have or not but I mean you can order in bulk beautiful stuff and hopefully I have enough of this color for me to finish not sure uh, I might will need to order more or have to go look through my stash if I have same kind of beads in my other container I love these beads or maybe I will create uh, this border with this kind of beads and then center my piece uh, mix with other red beads you can play and see oh sorry I just touched the camera okay so let's see now let me just pull out my needle on the front and what do you think if I can lift it up just a little bit I think that's the closest as I can show you I think right now you have a very good view and you can see have those beads all a layer in one direction and that's the way you can do the right way if one of your beads will accidentally you forget and stitch the other way it will be like you know instead of all of them facing holes like that way to the right if accidentally you stitch one the go face that way it be, will be very very visible you will see that that bead stitch wrong it will ruin all your design so i would just say uh you know if you see mistake just give rid of the earlier you can crush the bead with your um, tool and just restitch that particular bead or just tear apart a little bit to fix it if you're not far away but just make sure you stitch in a half stitch as you would do regular cross stitch and that's it that's all you remember layer in one direction so yes thank you so much bead park for these beautiful beads i love them they are such a good quality beads and as i say before i was just like i was so like in a mix if i should use these beads if we can compare them together a little bit um, they are also beautiful, but they more like a raspberry kind of color. So I think I did a good choice but using pure red. All right, my lovelies, I hope you like this tutorial. I will stitch now a little bit more. And if you are interested in this kind of video, comment below. And I will stitch with you more. Maybe we will stitch next time with you with the black beads. I will see what I have in my collection. Uh, if it's the same size or not, I think I have something that is a smaller size, so I have to test them out them first to see if they will cover nicely. But this coverage, perfect. It's perfect. I hope you like this video. Let me know. Give me thumbs up if you do like. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe. Be a friend. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow as I record every single day. Now check it out the link under my video and go shopping have a fun lots of gorgeous beads up there love you all